We've got some data here for our research, but unfortunately we don't have enough people to run a t-test. We've got our Likert scales here, which are really good. If we look over here at number seven, it's fours, threes, sevens, fives, all those good things. But we don't have enough people to run a t-test. What can we do? Well, we can convert this Likert scale data into categorical top and bottom. So are you giving a positive result or a negative result when you complete your um, Likert scale? So we're going to run a chi-square on that afterwards. So let's go and convert this into a categorical. So I'm going to recode into a different variable. And I'm going to choose, I'm going to go PV7. That's what I'm using. And we go, well, if you gave a 1, well, that's a bottom value. So that stays as 1. And then we're going to say if it's a 2, that's still a bottom value. It's, that's a 1. 3, it's still a bottom value. So we're going to go with 1. 4 is a middle value. And I'm going to say 2, so for middle. And 5, 6, and 7 are top values. So we're going to go and do that. So we've gone from, oops, 6 goes into 3. And 7 goes into 3. So we've got here, we've got the 7-point Likert scale that's been converted into a 3-point Oracle. So I'm going to go and continue and give it a name. So what's the name? I'm going to call it... Um, cat underscore uh, pv7. pv7 because that's what the original um, one was. It was a pv7. That's the original code. And the label, I'm going to go call it categorical pv7. Now, the name is whatever makes sense to you, whatever you understand. So I'm going to click. Um, okay, that's not letting it do that. Um, it's got a plus there. Meant to be underscore. There we are. And click change. That's going to be what our name is. So we've now got the old new value set up. We've got the name set up. We can click OK. And it's just saying we've gone ahead and done that. So if we now look at our area, we've got a new variable right there. So we've now cut all our seven point look at scale into a three point categorical. Now I want to say what these are. So I'm going to go for values. I'm going to say one is bottom, two is neutral, three is top. Great. And there we are. And what I can do next, I can run um, some analysis on this as a categorical data, which needs a much smaller sample size, maybe 50 for a um, t-test, sorry, for a chi-square rather than 120 for a t-test. We could also use a smaller value still, maybe 30, for something like Fisher's Exact. Now, in this way, we've got top, bottom, and neutral. We could choose to just ignore neutral in our analysis by saying three, we're going to, ign <laughs> that's wrong. We're going to say two. So we can completely ignore that neutral value and just complete top and volume, uh, bottom, depending on how many people we have. But that's gonna be for another video. So for now, I'm going to say no missing values and continue with life.